everybody, Scott for Angry Badger Minis. Um, just a quick video. Well, I'll say quick, but we're gonna be doing a um, a uh, reveal, or I'm sorry, not a reveal. Oh my gosh, reaction uh, video, and this will be my first one to anything that's been out there uh, regarding the new Angels of Death trailer that just released. It's called The Villains Revealed. Um, I have not watched this. Um, what I'm looking at, I honestly think, based on the title. It's got to have something to do with. It's either going to be Gene Steeler Colts, Renegade Guard, not like Chaos Guard, but like, you know, a government, you know, that's uh, decided that they want to secede from, you know, from the Imperium. Um, or because I've been reading a lot about stuff and, and hearing stuff about Primaris potentially going rogue. Um, but. The villains revealed I, something like that leans to me gene stealer or like a planetary governor like again deciding you know what we don't need the imperium anymore um but uh i wanted to, to do this um again this is our, my first one so we'll see how this goes all right let's get into it Okay, so interesting trailer. We're gonna go through this. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut the sound here, or at least bring it down low. Um, we're gonna go through this. Uh, clearly, I was right. It's a Gene Steeler cult, um, and I'll be honest with you. My first indication that I was right was the look on this guardsman's face right here. He's very. If you take a look right here you take a look at his face and you can say artwork whatever but he looks very um uh, i don't know if he may he may uh emaciated is the right word but he definitely looks more um like he's missing something <laughs> i'll put it that way um the black and white versus the you know boldness of the space marines um i would say you know, and of course uh, the the laser fire. I think it's I think it's a decent contrast. I don't know that that's how the video. I mean, you know, how it'll actually end up being. It may just be you know this is how they're advertising it. Um, because honestly, I think I would much rather prefer more color uh, in everything. And, and obviously, they have the capability to do that. The second indicator I had. Uh, that I was right was this hand right here on the pauldron or the armor because um, I don't really if it was a planetary governor type deal you know where they're seceding or I, I wouldn't really I don't think I'd really see the effort going into well let's just rebrand ourselves with you know a handprint if you will um, I just I just don't see it uh, one thing that may or could have happened um, I think that they could have done, and if they're listening to this trailer, I'm sorry, this uh, uh, reaction, is they could have maybe added another finger, if that makes sense. Um, although I am seeing a stark line right here uh, on the shoulder pauldron itself, and uh, you know, which you could you could say. Somebody could say, oh, it was painted. No, if you take a look at, you know, for instance, any Gene Steeler hybrids or Gene Steeler Colt, uh, or even Gene Steeler for that matter, if you look at where the wrist and the hand actually connect, they have that distinct, uh, you know, distinct um, mark there where the wrist and the fingers and whatnot come together. 
So there is that. Um, that's just, you know, things I've observed. And it's just how I am. Uh, if you take a look at these, this tread, though, I will tell the artist, hey, man, you need to get some new tread, some new tires, because you're looking a little flat there. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on. Okay, here we don't have that distinct deal, and we've got more of a hand than we did on the other one. So that lends me to believe that it's probably just, um, you know, each, you know, guardsman or cultist did his own maybe. Um, that and, and that could be a thing too. I mean, we know that hybrids, you know, have multiple arms, different, you know, uh, you know, different um, mutations and things like that. Um, when I watched this, this guy, I started to get a little bit of a doubt, to be honest with you, um, because I'm I'm looking at this guy in the robes and it, it appears to me he's cutting somebody's throat might be like an adeptus arbites or arbites however the heck you want to say it i've been saying arbites for years um uh, maybe an imperial guard commander or something like that but again that gaunt look right there was drawing me back to gene Steeler colt kind of thing um although this dude seems to have some you know muscular build even inside of his robes um and he's clearly not afraid of what the heck's going on. And then, of course, bam, right here we've got a gene stealer, or at least hybrid, fighting a space marine right off the bat. I mean, that confirmed everything. Um, I would say, looking at this, that we've got somewhat of a... I, I don't know this for a fact, but it looks to me like the method of um, artistry if you will for these characters especially when it comes to this and you'll see when we get to the very end uh, you'll see what I'm talking about I, I almost feel it's it's like the same artistry or the same artists that put together the look for the gene stores because they have a distinct look um, for um, the Deathwing uh, Space Hulk Deathwing game obviously we've got some hybrids here and chaos and confusion which is great I, I like this showing the strength right here so this this face right here of this genes dealer or hybrid whatever I mean if you take a look I mean obviously it's got you know more uh, humanoid features versus you know straight up genes dealer but just the way I don't know if any of you guys ever pay attention to this kind of stuff I do but um, just the way that this is done um, it's more reminiscent of Space Hulk Deathwing around the mouth and that kind of stuff. Um, and even, um, gosh, what do you call it? Space Hulk uh, Tactics, okay? Um, both have, in my opinion, uh, a clear delineation between, you know, the artwork for Gene Steeler. And I mean, I prefer, you know, I, d I definitely prefer the uh, Space Hulk Deathwing over... The tactics one um, and even ascension but it's there there's something here that just speaks to me that says hey you know um, it might be the same artist and there's I'm okay with that this is great um, the blood and everything like this the gore and whatnot again I hope that this is the trailer because unfortunately I mean you, you may disagree and, and you know that's completely you know your prerogative but I feel like they're the gene stealer other than the light on the face you know the we'll call it zenithal highlighting on the face whatever um the gene stealer you can see here gets lost in the gore um and all you've got is this face and i mean i guess there's nothing too terribly wrong with that but I, again i think you're gonna lose folks if all it is is and, and I'm going to go ahead and say this. I have a bias against red. It's going to be one heck of a challenge when I paint my Blood, Blood Angels army. Um, I just, red just does not do it for me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And while this gore is great, um, I, again, we're losing the character here. So I'm hoping that, again, this was just a trailer and we're going to have a lot more color and that kind of stuff. Um, for those of you that have watched Hell's Reach on YouTube, and if you haven't, I encourage you to. That guy did an, a, just a bang-up job, and 
I almost was getting that vibe and thinking this as well, that maybe it transitions like Hell's Reach did where, um, you know, it was all black and white and kind of, I mean, now mind you, mind you, this has got a lot more cinematic to it than Hell's Reach did, but as as each part went on, more and more color was revealed into, and, and cinematics revealed into the story, and it actually was really, really neat. I think that's more of a hybrid there. Now, this right here, this one, this part right here kind of annoyed me. I'm not going to lie. So the way that this is, <clears throat> I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to show, you know, in the camera or what have you. But I think whatever this, um, this filter or overlay that they've done here, it really detracts from everything we've just seen. It changes the graphics in general, it changes the feel, and I'll be honest with you, it literally broke the immersion for me. Um, but again, that's just me. It just looks too fake, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, great uh, great title, of course. Um, I just wonder how they're going... I, I wonder how... I think they could have came up with something else. Um, and the reason I say it is... Well, now you've used Angels of Death, and you're never going to be able to use it again, really, unless you always have some kind of separate, you know, little portion to the title, like this one, The Villains Revealed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the False Angels Must Fall. Well, I guess the only thing we can uh, look at from that is, you know, a Gene Steeler Colts uh, idea that the, you know, the hive uh, or, you know, the swarm is coming. Um, and that they're there to liberate them because those are their gods. And, of course, we all know that they're going to end up, you know, being, uh, you know, basically destroyed and eaten and um, consumed for the hive. So, um, warhammercommunity.com so we can find out more there. All right, so um, what did you guys think about this? I mean, I saw, I think the... the the bolter fire was relatively accurate. I think it could have been more of a booming sound. Um, I think that uh, I think the las las gun fire was was good. Um, you know the brightness was great, but again I think some of that, you know, because it was black and white, what it did was it it, it ended up, uh, you know, it ended up basically covering up. Um, you know, covering up the artwork of the show. So, um, I'd love to know in your in the comments what you guys think, what your in, you know take is, and I'd also like to know if you guys would like to see more of these. And the reason I say that is, I've been wanting to do for some time a reaction trailer to uh, Astartes one through five. Now, I have watched that over and over and over, and mostly because of other people's reaction videos. And the reason I wanted to do is a lot of those reaction videos don't have, I mean, they may be a part of the 40K hobby, and I'm not trying to be a purist or an elitist here, okay? But they don't know what they're talking about in a lot of these videos, and that's very unfortunate. Um, I do have the ability to look at it now, you know, even though it was kind of sort of taken down. Um, uh, there's a, uh, a Russian channel that'll go unnamed because, you know, without him, I wouldn't have it. Um, and... It's, you know, it's not that, you know, I mean, anything can be anything, but I mean, something as simple, you know, as, uh, you know, a shark assault boat versus a boarding torpedo. I mean, they're, the two are not the same. I mean, literally not the same. Um, you know, and that kind of comment right there, you know, I mean, maybe it's just, an, you know, um, actually that one wasn't even a reaction video. The guy had already watched it and he was trying to explain it for new 40K people. Well, in my opinion, he kind of failed, you know, in, in some regards. But I know I'm being nitpicky or whatever, but I'm curious what you guys might think and, you know, and if you'd like to see that. So, anyway, thank you for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.